Hey miners, Mining King here. Today, we're gonna be checking out Draytech, but before we get into that, here's a word from our sponsor. Hey miners, Mining King here. Welcome to the Community 500 Giveaway, where I have partnered with several other YouTubers and we're working on a community project to give everybody in our community, our viewers, and give back to you guys during this time of the despair market. There will be 10 different prizes unique to everybody participating in the project. My unique item will be a RX 6700 XT signed by yours truly. We have partnered with Django Jax in his amazing art skills and he has created 10 custom designs for us. There will be 50 shirts for each design. So this is a limited run of t-shirts. Each t-shirt will give you 50 entries in the Gleam giveaway. Don't want to buy a t-shirt? That's fine too. There's plenty of ways to enter free in the URL down below. So check the link out to get your free entries for Gleam. We will also be giving a portion of our proceeds back to a nonprofit organization called the Water Project Incorporated, which helps provide clean water to sub-Saharan Africa. We will be hosting a live stream on YouTube to announce the winners on November 30th for the Gleam. Now, be sure to check out all my other partners that are participating in this giveaway because they have some awesome things as well. And just remember, the mining can gives you the most hashes, and I'll see you next time. All right, miners, we're back. I did turn off the fans. The only thing you're hearing in the background is just the octa miners themselves. I turned off my exhaust, you know, exhaust fans temporarily to try to keep the noise down a little bit here in the garage. So today, I got my Draytech networking set up here um i think this is going to be good enough for me in my house i might need another 24 port switch i'm not sure but we'll have to see so i did get their uh access point which is ceiling mounted and is poe so really really cool there this is the 2962 dual wan Draytech router so i'm gonna Set this down right here. Get this guy out of the box. All right. So this is the Draytech 2962 router. It has two WAN ports. Well, actually, technically it has three, but only two could be in use. So there is a one gigabit RJ45 right over here. That is a WAN port, as well as you could use either of these over here for WAN ports for one gig, as well as, now this one right here is actually a one gig, or it could be up to a two and a half gig. I can't get two and a half gig at my house, but I figure, hey, maybe future proof down the road, speeds get a little better, I can get two and a half gig, right? You also can use a one gig SFP plus uh, connection right here as well, if you want to use that for your WAN as well. Now this is a dual WAN router, so I can have two connections simultaneously going on. I think I'm actually going to keep the uh, internet coming in on two separate lines because I have different things I want to do with one line and the other line. So I don't think I'm going to aggregate them together. I'm still considering that, so, um, but yeah. The, the nice thing also with this, though, is, is let's say you only had one, you know, um, ISP line coming in, like this one right here, you only had one gig. You could take all these other WAN ports and inside their, um, you know, their GUI and stuff like that, you could turn the rest of these to all LANs. It's really simple. It's just like a click of the mouse and then these all become LAN ports. So you could change what they are at any time. So really, really cool stuff. Um, this uh, this can do like 20 VLANs, I think, um, which is only a little bit, but we'll get into more of that with the switch here. If you guys want, I'll leave links down below for each piece of equipment I bought. So this is, like I said, the 2962. They do make a PoE version of this where all the lines are PoE. I don't really need that. I'm just gonna use an adapter that's just gonna make one line PoE. I don't plan on doing cameras and all that other stuff, so this is the only thing that's gonna be PoE for my system. Now let's get into the switch. Some of you guys have may not have heard of Draytech. It is a UK-based company. I obviously heard this from my good friend, 
uh, Mr. Yeti, and I'm really appreciative that he showed me this company. I watched quite a few videos on the pieces of hardware as well as, you know, how their, um, their software and GUI and all that stuff interact and things like that. And I was really impressed with it. So I can't wait to start using this stuff. Um, but this is all enterprise grade. They don't aim to um, market to consumers, but you can buy them from this company. And I'll leave the link down below. It's called Neobits. So it is a one of the USA distributors. So if you guys are interested and want this kind of gear, you can buy it. Uh, you can get Draytech from them. The Draytech Dual WAN router was uh, $495, so it's $500 bucks for the router. So this is a 24 port switch, but so you do have your standard 24 ports right here, but actually you have eight other ports that you guys could use for link aggregation that are all gigabit here. You have four SFP plus ports as well as four RJ45 one gigabit, uh, you know, um, you know connections over here so you can either use the sfp plus if you wanted to so this is really awesome um this is the vigor switch uh, uh g uh 1280 so this is uh all of these connections are all gigabit um it can do 256 uh vlans it has lots of other features now um i did not this is a this this is not a layer two switch. Um, I could have spent a little bit more money. Well, that's actually like quite a bit more money. Um, so this was about $250. If I wanted a layer two switch, it was $500, which is exactly how much I paid for the router. Um, I just don't think that me at my house, I, I don't need a layer two switch, um, at least for me and what I'm doing. So it's money that I don't need to spend. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to share some of my exciting new um, networking gear I got. I can't wait to get it in my rack. Now, I did get another gigabit line in, so I will have two gigs coming in and out, um, up and down. So Monday, November or October 31st, they will be coming in to install the second line. I contracted a company to come out and do the low voltage he's only going to do the cable drops and then I'm going to terminate everything. So that way it just saves me a little bit of money and it saves me from crawling around in the attic, right? Let's face it. I mean, the attic, us, attics up in Arizona are very, very small <laughs> and he has a lot of um, exterior walls that he is willing to drill down and feed them down through the wall, which would be really hard for me. So he's a much smaller guy. He could fit into the space better than I can. So he's, uh, he's gonna be doing, I think about eight to 10 drops for me. And then I'll be, you know, he'll just drop the cables down and, and route them into my laundry room where my rack is going to be. So I will be terminating all the cables myself. So I'll be held responsible for that. So not a big deal.